Grand day. Peace and love, everyone. Grand day, grand day. About to get this party started. Welcome to the call. We'll do some quick chart markups. This is more of a like a watch. Today more so you just want to watch and pay attention. We're gonna get started here in about one minute. Through multiple sources. I am so happy. Listen to this affirmation before until we get started. You guys get started in one minute. Multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful. That money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Starting about 30 I am seconds. so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I if am you know so somebody happy and grateful. That needs this information and they not on the call through multiple sources text. on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing in chat, through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful. That money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me Rob in increasing OTC quantities in the through multiple sources on a continuous uh, basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes all right, to me in increasing in. quantities through multiple sources Turn this down. on a continuous basis. All right. So Yo, this is what I be listening to, y'all. This is what I'll be listening to. All right, so let's dive into this today. Um, so today is just straight up chart, chart markups. Um, everybody may not be there when it comes to chart markups. Maybe some of you guys are still uh, learning how to at least like take a trade on the Monty Scanner. And if that's where you are, that is okay. But today I decided that I want to go a little deeper and, um, you know, cover more of uh, how you mark up charts and how you can use these EMAs. Um, I'm not reporting this call. So whoever's here is here. We talked about this call. So consider you got yourself a lucky, right? So let's dive in, y'all. So um, let's look at some charts that I call, I think Friday or Thursday. And let's just kind of see where they are now. Um, this one was great. We hit the take profit. Uh, hold on, real quick. We hit take profit both ways. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to think where we marked it up from. Oh yeah, I think we marked it up from this point of view. So um, it broke. I am so happy and grateful. Right, the retest happened right here. Bam, you would have entered the trade. That's the take profit. So bam, you could have already made money. Can everybody hear me or is the music too loud? Can everybody hear me? Put I can in the chat bar, please. Please. I am so happy and grateful. Before I go on, can anybody hear me? Hear me, hear me. Okay, it's a little bit distracting. Right. Let my subconscious mind hear it. All right. So um, it hit, bam, the break, the retest, that was the take profit. Then it came back in the trap, right? And now it was back in our trap again. So now it's back where our buy zone is and it's back where our sell zone is, right? So it broke again, it retest. All right, hold on. Okay. All right, so uh, it broke again above the buy zone and retest, but I wouldn't have probably entered 
um, until like right here, right? So if I would have entered here, it would have drawn back eight pips, but look, it hit the take profit. So the broke, the break, I mean, you could have seen it as, okay, it broke, it retests, I entered there, or you could have seen this as the break. It depends on when you got in on the chart. Maybe you got in on the chart when none of this happened and it was just like this. You're like, oh, okay, it's breaking above again and it's retesting. I'm not going to get in until I see, you know, the next blue can, the next green candle. You're probably wondering, well, why didn't you get in right here? Because it's not even close to the zone. Hold on, I got to get my charger, you guys. Gotta keep my charger. Ah, today is such an awesome day to be alive, y'all. So look, so, you know, I wouldn't get into any of these because this, this is our zone. This is our entry point. The reason why I wouldn't have even got in on this one is because as the, I wanted this to at least break and close, you know, I wanted to at least break and close because it could have easily hit this resistant line and kept going down. So that's why I would have entered here. Now let's just use our imagination and said, when you look at the charts, you look at it from this point of view. All of this has happened. You've seen the break, confirmation number one. It broke, confirmation number one. All right, let's, I want you guys to see this. Bam. The retest right here, sexy. All of these are retests. All of this like retested, all in this area. Okay. Right? So broke, retest, all of these kind of retested. I would have entered in right here. Would have took it all the way up to the take profit. Bam, 33 pips. Hit this area is going back down again. Like this was so beautiful. You could have ate two times off of this chart. You could have ate from a being a buy here and then a buy over here again. Let's check out some of the other ones. We're gonna go and we're gonna mark up the strategy. But right now, we just wanna go do the overview. We're just looking at what happened, okay? So we're not really doing the strategy yet. So this was so sexy. Um, so when you trade on open and bail, open and bail is when the stock market opens up at 9.30 Eastern. That's when the market opens up. Um, you you kind of see like a reversal happen. So the market, this whole candle was like open and bail, took 15 minutes. I mean, to be honest, if you came in with a, a dollar lot size, if you came in with a dollar lot size on S&P, this would have been $190. Just off of S&P, off a dollar lot, off of 0 0.10. $90 in 15 minutes. One, I mean, $190 in 15 minutes, right? And then I want you guys to really pay attention to this black line. Like, like, like I said, this may be a little over some people's head. If you're not at the point where you're marking up charts now, I want you just to watch. If you're at the point where you're marking up charts, then definitely, you know, I want you to go ahead and start doing it, right? So everybody's on different levels. Right now we're just marking up the strategy and I have, it doesn't have anything to do with the harmonic scanner, colors, it doesn't have anything to do with that. We're just simply um, analyzing the market, looking at the market, okay? So um, the next candle, I knew that it was going to go up green. Why? Well, not because I'm a fortune teller, because if we look at this black line, Look at how the market acts off this black line. Let's look at it from this point of view. So this black line was a resistance to these candles. Why? Really quick, why would this black line be a resistance to this candles, these candles right here? Anybody know? And then why is it a support for this candle? So how can it be a resistance here? and then be a support over here. 
Can somebody, does anybody know? Anybody want to take a wild guess? If you don't, that's okay. Let's see. Because the line is above. Yeah, the line is above. That's true. That's very true. Let me see. Making it a resistance, yes. So the only reason why this is a resistance to these candles is because imagine this being you. This is the roof on top of your head right now. Try to push up to the ceiling right now. Everybody take your hands and I want you to push up to the ceiling. I need you to see me for this. Push up to the ceiling, push. Now is the ceiling, is the ceiling resisting you or is it supporting you? I mean, you may say, yes, yeah, supporting me because this is my hand, but it's, re it's resisting back. Right? So here you go. You're walking. This is you walking. Look at you. Boop, 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 doop, 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 doop. You're walking. You're walking. You're walking. Oh my gosh, you got on top of the roof. Look at you, Jen, right here. You're on top of the roof. So guess what? Jen, if you're on top of the roof right here, bam. Do you think that the roof now is resisting you or is it supporting you? Somebody dropping it. Is Jen being supported? or she being resistant. This is now, this is the floor. Jim busted through the roof. She's on top of the floor. Is she in a resistant point or support point? Okay, there we go. Come on, who else? So this is why it's the same thing, interchangeable. It was a resistance to these candles because you guys couldn't break the roof. You got the power like Mario. Bam, you busted through, but now look. You fell back below the roof again. Now it is a resistance again. Then, oh my gosh, you broke the roof again. Now it is a resistance again. It was a support, now it's a resistance. Still a resistance, still a resistance, right? Just decided to break down. Look at how it's getting stuck. This is what I'm looking for. Like, look at even in the past, like, you see how it keeps flip-flopping? It's just struggling. It's just freaking struggle in this area. There's no constant trend. It's a traffic jam, back and forth, back and forth. All right, even here, yeah, it broke it a little bit, but look, it's magnetic. This area is magnetic. Look at it. It's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, this is why I know I'm not going to get in this market until it breaks it. I need it to break and I need it to retest, right? It broke, it retests. You could have entered there. You only need five, you only need about five to 10 pips with S&P. This right here would have been five pips and you would have cashed out. Five pips at a 0.10 is $50. So you wouldn't do your trading plan uh, with the 30 pips a day because this doesn't move 30. This moves about five to 10 pips. So you could do, you could change it up and um, you could do $50 a day. If you're if, like, I would do, um, I would go for, actually I would go for about 10 pips. I would lock in profit at five, but I will go for 10 pips with a, with a 50 uh, pip, uh, stop loss. So basically I would go for $100 to risk $50, but I wouldn't necessarily start off with a $150 account with that. I would probably start off with a 200 or $250 account. So just in case it does go negative and I'm at $250 in my brokerage, well, okay, I lost 50, but then I could trade again and if I make my 100, now I'm up 300. You get what I'm saying? So I really love this pair. It's very gentle when it comes to indices. So if you guys want to still make, because this is different from Forex. And what I mean by different is just that the currency, the pip count is different. The spread is different. Just like it's different with gold. Just like it's different with Bitcoin. That's all that that's meaning, right? So anywho. Um, and we're just analyzing the charts. We're not even on the strategy. I mean, we're not like teaching the strategy, okay? So this is the second one, beautiful. We're waiting for this to set up right now. Okay, so this one, sexy, right? I'm not sure where we marked it up from. Um, I think it was somewhere around here, right? So it's in the trap, it's in the trap, it's in the trap. Oh my gosh, first confirmation. 
it broke the buy zone. Look, it didn't break the bottom, it broke the buy. Confirmation number one. In 15 minutes, the whole candle broke. Bam, retest candle, right? I wouldn't have entered in until this closed. Bam, I would have got in right here, right? Now, let's see if it made went up 30 pips though. It only went up 17 pips, right? It went, it went up 17 pips and dropped about 30. So if you wouldn't of, if you didn't move your stop profit into profit, then that would have hit your stop loss. If you would have hit it in a profit, you would have had like 10 to $15, right? But now it's doing the same thing. Buy zone, sell zone. It broke, right? It retests, but it never went down. So it's, it's invalid. But look, it broke, it retests, would have entered in right here. The move is happening now. And it went up at least eight pips. The, if you're going for 30, this is going to be, and we're just analyzing the market. So just kind of watch, right? This is gonna be 30 pips. And I guarantee you in the past, guess what? The market reacts off of this thing. Bam, sexy, woo. <laughs> Man. Look, it just does the same thing over and over. These take profits aren't anything but support and resistance. From here to here, 30 pips is measured. Because remember, I told you guys with the Forex pairs, some of these it, it move in 30 pip increments. All right, 30 pip increments. Bam. Look at this area. Bam. Look at this area. Look at how it's being tested time and time before. Right? Even this will be like another area for a take profit. 30, I bet, let's see if this, let's see from here to here is 30 or more pips. From here, look at that. Ooh, 30 pips, 30 pips, right? It moves in 30 pip increments. Let's look at a higher time frame. Okay. All right, you guys, so that is how you kind of like analyze the charts. Let's go through two more and then we'll get on the strategy and then we'll get on the EMAs. Okay, I'm good on time because I get super excited. All right. So this is basically close to take profit. All right, let's look at gold. Dang, so sexy, it's happening right now. I also use the five minute chart to see the retest as well. So if you would have checked out the, look at this, it's just sexy, y'all, look at this. Whew. Buy zone, sell zone, buy zone, sell zone. Do, 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 Broke through the buy zone. Bam, we already know, confirmation number one, broke and closed, confirmation number one. Bam, confirmation number two, it retests. I can't make this stuff up. Bam, this candle was red at first. It was red, that's why you got this, it, it shot down. But then once I would have seen this candle green open up on top of this, bam, I would have entered in the market. Oh my gosh, 200 and, is it 26? It's, I think it's 269 pips, right? depending on what your goal was. Um, I think I actually, who trades gold? I think it's either 200 or 25. Don't, don't quote me, right, on how the pipage count. Um, but if this was almost 30, I mean, this is about 26 pips. It's about to hit the take profit right now. And how did I come up with the take profit line? Just whatever your, your uh, pip amount is, right? Also, just look at how the market Market came here and some, you know, take profit too can be right there. All right, before we take any, this is just sexy. Like, look at it, break, retest. You could probably even get in on the next candle. Let's see what happens in seven minutes. Somebody set the alarm for seven minutes. Hold on, let me make sure my indicators are on. Hold on, y'all, because I'm, I am trading too. All right, let's look at, um, 
Let's see. Let's see what we got. That one's not ready. Sexy. All right, so here we are. Buy zone, sell zone. Broke. Nothing has retested yet. So you can even put in, it may or may not come back up here and retest, right? But what you could do is you could put a sell limit. You could say, hey, look, I feel like this is going to go here, hit there, and continue down. So you put in a sell limit and it goes up and it hits it and knocks you in the trade. What is that? Oh, my charger fell off. Dang, 30 pips is like right here. It almost came down 30 pips. It already. Right? So, and I and and how much you guys want to bet that the market has came here before? Like it's came here, it's, it's that's the area. Watch this. Look at this. I can't make this stuff up. Look what it's doing over here. It's doing over here. It's getting caught between this black and this green line, which is a, a resistance and a support. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Finally decided to break the test. Bam, take profit here. Now, guess what? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Bam. Bro, it's doing the same thing it did over here. It's breaking it. It's retesting. It's going to go back here. <laughs> it just... It, and here go take profit too. Isis, well, how do you know? Well, look, look at how it's being tested. Bam, broke here, resisted up. Bam, reacting here, reacting here. All of this, look at all this traffic jam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, look at how it's being reacted here, right? Dang, look at how it's getting stuck between here and here. The market just keeps ping ponging, y'all. Like, that's all it just keep doing over and over. And the more you get on these charts and you just mark it up, mark it up, mark it up. Look, let's see if we can do a practice real quick. I'm not sure if it's going to hit it, but hey, let's, let's see if it's going to pull back some more. Everybody pull out your cell phones and go to EURUSD. This is your one-on-one -on -one moment right here. Right now, we are one-on-one -on -one with each other, right? This is us. This is for I'm talking to you. This is our one-on-one -on -one moment right here. So go to EURUSD. EURUSD, you guys. EURUSD. And don't get flustered if you can't find it. You got to really breathe. It's okay. Calm down. It's there. It's there. Remember, your energy plays a lot on this, right? So just breathe. If you can't get on this trade, it's okay. There's going to be more, right? So once you find this pair... I want you to click it, to, I want you to like open it up like you're about to trade it. So hit the trade button, right? And then you'll see at the top it says market execution or instant trade or something like that. Tap that and I want you guys to find sell limit. Right, once you hit sell limit, the price is gonna be one point, it's a black line. It's the black line, 1.16164. 1 1.16164. 1 1.16164. 1.16164. 1.16164. 1.16164. 1.16164. 1.16164. 1.16164. 1.16164. I'm putting it in the, uh, in the chat bar. Is See? this a MetaTrader that we have to put it in? Good morning. Yes. MetaTrader 4 is where you place trades. Where you place trades, where you place trades. You always place trades in MetaTrader 4. One thing that really helped me also, you guys, is flashcards. You got to train your brain to rememberize this stuff. So, like, I would literally make flashcards with certain things. So, for example, where do I place trades, MetaTrader 4? You can put that on a flashcard, and as you're chilling, as you're relaxing, you can put out those flashcards and the more you train your brain, you're gonna already know where to put it at, right? So 
if you find yourself getting confused about certain things, write those things down when you get the answer and really play it over and over again, right? Because this is the only way you're going to get this is through repetition. Repetition is the master, right? So I would definitely, that's a good one to put on side of an index card, you guys. This is what's going to help you learn this very fast, okay? Perfect. Even the words, resistance, ceiling, buy zone, put these on flashcards. Look so at it. Uh, so, sorry, so on here, the, the price that you put is a stop loss? No, somebody put in the chat bar what the price is for. Somebody put it in. Let me see if somebody else. No, the, the price is the entry. Yes, right. but when I'm in the meta trader for the stop loss, it's not the same as the price. Sorry. No, no, it's not the same as the price, but it's the price. Okay. It's where it says I put the um stop loss, the entry, and the take profit in the chat bar. So basically, what Shay was saying is no, it's not the stop loss. It's just the price. So when you hit sell limit, instead of this saying take profit and stop loss, it says price, mm -hmm. stop loss, and take profit. So there's three numbers that you're actually going to put in. So uh, I put that in the chat bar. I put the entry price, I put the stop loss, and I put the, uh, the take profit. So on your phone, if you have an Android, the stop loss is going to be a red line. If you have an Android, the take profit is going to green line. But if you actually have an iPhone, it literally says price, stop loss, and take profit. So we got kind of an advantage because. I, sorry, I have an iPhone, but I only have stop loss and take profit. I don't see price. That's why I'm confused. Um, that is because you didn't hit market execution. Hit market execution on your screen. Okay, so you know USD and then I have trade chart and details. Okay, hit trade. Mm -hmm. And then I only see stop loss and take profit here. But do you see up top where it says market execution? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, I see that. Amazing. So that's another one I will put on a flashcard. How do I identify, um, you know, pin? because this is a pending order. And this is what I had to put on my flat. I had to put on my cards. What is a pending order? How does it look? Um, because this one, these are things you need to know because this is coming down to like your money. So yeah. even that, like any, anything that nobody is clear about today on this phone, please make it into a flashcard, you guys. That was a great, that was a great question. Um, and thank you, Shay, as well. So yeah, that was a great question. So definitely you guys make that as a flashcard. So, you know, so Trade. once I'm, so once I'm here on the market execution, I click sell uh, buy limit, sell limit, stop loss, buy stop or sell stop. Let me check the chat. Um, sell limit, uh, Jen. Okay. All right. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Teamwork is the dream work. And it'd be cool to even quiz each other. Like, let's see if we can get some basic like flashcards together. And you guys quiz each other, you know? You can hop on Zoom like, yo, let's just do like a little 10 minute quiz. Show each other the flashcards. What is this? What do you do when this happens? The faster you can do that, the faster you're gonna learn, right? So that's just a little trick. A little trick that has helped me. I know it can help you guys as well. So this is another one, very sexy. B Bitcoin, broke, retest. Look at the break. And we're gonna do this whole, after this last one, we're going to do the whole strategy. We're going to break it down from the nitty to the gritty. Bam. It broke out on a 15-minute chart. Bam. Broke and closed. Took whole 15 minutes for this to rise. Right? So, okay, got Peter in the building. Peter is in the building. It doesn't even matter he's way in Germany. He's still on the phone. See, that's the thing. Even if the time zones... I mean, we got people in Germany on the phone like right now. So when you want it, you want it. Bam, retest that little sexy red candle. Y'all see it? Look at it. It's like, come and make the money, baby. Look at that. Bam, retest. Bam, you would have entered right there on that sexy green candle. Woo, 
first take profit was the blue line. Damn, son, that's like over 5,000 pips from here to here. It's the next take profit right there. And guess what it did? It broke and retest this line. Like, all right, you guys, let's start from the top. Let's start from the top. I'm getting really excited here. All right, let's start from the top. I haven't made any money yet today, so I got to be focused. Why do we have to choose market execution and then pick? Because when you choose market execution, it's like a drop down menu. So it's like going to a website and it's like a drop down menu. So like if you go to a website and it says services and then you hit services, the drop down menu, the services hit. That's all it really is. You just gotta tap there to uh, go there. It's just a functionality. Um, what's the difference when this is placing trademark execution? Somebody, Shay, answer that question for me in the chat bar real quick. Let me see if, let me see on Miss Abba. Somebody drop that in there. We need to watch. Yes, please watch that video. Please, please, please. He's um, and you can and that's under Ralph's uh se session too, you guys. All right, so let's go into the strategy, you guys. Let's actually go into the strategy. Let's go into how to mark it up. Let's go into it. Oh, man, I wish Crispy was on this phone. I wish she was on here because we're going into it. I'm not recording it. All right, so um, check this out, you guys, because it's go time. We got two more months and uh, this uh, into the next year. And you guys, you we gotta go in hard. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like we gotta go in hard. This is no time to play. I was on a call, Chad's call yesterday. Kiana made six thousand in one day from trading crypto. Like this is not a game. We don't have time to play. Some of you guys got debt you gotta pay off. Like it's go time, right? So let's dig deep in this academy. So check this out. Now this is the strategy. You guys ready? Take some notes. Even if you don't quite understand it now, just take notes for later, right? Just take notes for later, right? So I'm on the hour chart, you guys, okay? One hour. And then I need to identify where the market is right now, right? And so when I look, this little sexy green candle, little small, little hunk, little, little cutie right here, this little cutie is where the market is now. Now, when I look to my right-hand side, there's two green boxes, right? There's one that says 24.08. That's just basically meaning that in 24 seconds, I mean, 24 minutes, uh, this market is going to be, you know, this, this candle is going to be done for me. It could decide to be long. It could be really small. We don't know. I just want to know where the market is, okay? All right. If that doesn't make sense, now this is the time where I'm going to like, okay, let's take questions because I wanna walk you guys step by step on each step that I'm doing. So um, if, if, if you have some questions on like knowing like, well, Isis, how do you know the market's right there? I can break it down another level. But uh, if so, if, if this doesn't make sense that the market is right here, drop a two in the chat bar, y'all. Now this is when I'm gonna walk y'all through. All right, okay. And if you don't understand, it's okay, it's new. And this is why I always, you know, make the little small suggestions because I want you guys to learn this twice as fast as me, right? I want you guys to learn this twice as fast as me, right? All right, cool, you guys. So step one, we're on the hour chart. I identify that the price is here. So what I need to do is guess what? Step one has two parts. So on your notes, Write down on your notes, and you can do this for crypto. What this strategy that I'm showing y'all, y'all can do it on anything that you want to do it on, right? Okay, so two parts. The first part is you're going to identify the support and the resistance, either or. You could find the support first, then the resistance, or the resistance first, then the support. First step is you're going to identify the support and the resistance on the one hour chart, okay? So step one. We're on the hour chart. We know that the market is here. So I need to put my support and my resistance, okay? All right, now we're about to do that. So when I look to the left, 
I can already see it. Before I even mark it up, I can see it with my eyes. Just look at all, look at this area. Like I could just see it already. Like, look, already you could just kind of see. Y'all see, did y'all see that already? Like before I even put these lines here, you could just see it. Look at look at how it's acting up from here to here, here to here. It's just acting up in this little central area, right? So when I look to my left, I want to see which candles are higher than this candle. I want to see really like what's going on all in this area. So let me go ahead and get my line. So you're probably like Isis. Well, let me see. Yeah, you can do it here too. This candle is higher than this candle. So you can actually put this here. Right? Let me make it black because that red hurts my eyes. Right? So this red candle is higher than this candle. Look at it. He's taller. So I'm going to put that right there. Right? You could even put it here. But from here, you only need 30 pips. From here to here is about 30 pips. All right? So I ain't going to confuse y'all. I ain't going to put that. Right, so I went to the left. So that means when I measure my take profit, a lot of people say, well, how do I know what to take? How do I know what to do to take profit? Well, that's simple. Wherever you enter in, you always measure from where you enter your take profit. My take profit may be different from yours. I made it entered somewhere different from where you would have entered, right? And so that's why you always want to measure your take profit, you know, your, your, your pip goals, you know what I mean? So let's talk about it. Let's just say it decides to break and retest here. Well, I need to measure 30 pips because that's my goal. Boop, 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 boop. 30 pips right there. Right there, 30 pips. That would be my take profit if I'm entering here, if it breaks. Now look at how sexy this is. It's sexy because we know the market has came here before. Look, boop, came here. Boop, came here. Then, oop, it came, like, it's, look at how we're staying around here. Right there, and right there, and right here, and right here. This can even be take profit, too. I says, how do you know that? Are you a psychic? No. <laughs> I'm just looking in the past, and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing how the market has reacted off of this area. Bam, next take profit. The market is going down. And it could come up and do the same exact thing. Same thing it did going down is the same thing it might want to do going up, right? So from here to here, you see how it measures 30 pips? I can't make this up. Y'all notice that I didn't measure it. I just put the lines there. Remember, each move is about 30. This one moves about 30 to 50 pips. This one right here, the GBP pairs. Look at that. Bam, around 30 pips. Guess what, from here to here, next level. That's a little bit more, that's about 70 pips. All right, but that, that could be another level of take profit. So that is how you're doing it, right? So anyways, that's how we got our resistance. We're still on the first step, y'all. I was just doing the take profits, that's all. But we're still on the first step. Now I'm gonna look to my left and I need to see which candles are lower than this little cutie patootie right here. So, so I says before you go forward, before you sure. uh, put that line in there. So for me, the at the top that take the first take profit would have been my entry, um, just because it looks a little like crazy. It's going up and down a lot. So I don't. For me, my logic is I don't want it to get like I don't want it to hit the entry and then wick down or go down into like my stop loss because it looks like it's very up and down right there. So uh, do you kind of see that or would you like still? Yeah, right here. There? Right between this green line and this black line, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, to be honest, if it was me, I would have put my, I just kind of put it here cause like, I didn't want nobody to kind of get confused. Honestly, yeah, right. I probably would have, I probably would have put it here. This would have probably been my entry. I would have waited for it to kind of, this is more of a, a, a riskier, I would say entry, right. and this mm -hmm. is more conservative. So right. I probably okay. would have had mine here in that area. 
But just because I know most people would have been like, well, wait a minute, like, why are you skipping this one? I just kind of made it simplified, but you probably okay. know because you, you've been doing this strategy for a while. So yeah, so what he basically said was that he would have put his more in this area because right here is very, it's kind of choppy, right? It's a little choppy in between here, right? So it could break retest and struggle here and it may pull back before it finally goes up. So he's just saying that his entry would have been a little higher, right? Not to kind of confuse anybody, but yep, Shay, that's exactly what I would have did, right? So let's find the support. So I want to find a candle lower. These are kind of even. All these candles right here are kind of even with this. I don't want to put it there. But when I look here, all right, let me make it black. When I look here, I say, hey, this came all the way down here, but this, this one actually closed. See, this kind of wicked, and I could have put it there, but just look how look at the booty, the booty sticking out. I don't want to just leave that booty out like that. So let me just look a little bit more and let me do this area. And if you're unsure, just go in the past and see how the black line has been affected. Let's see. I'm on a daily chart. So if I go in the past, like, look at how it's struggling to break here. It's struggling, struggling, You're right? This is all the way, this is all the way back in April. Oh my gosh, ISIS, what? Yeah, it does the same thing. Here we are, same story, April, struggling. Here we are, October, struggling, All right? So boom, we got our support and our resistance family right here, All right? Now take profit, I'm gonna measure 30 pips back. I mean, 30 pips, right? Bam, me personally, I make it green. You can make it any green. I mean, any color that your brain desires. And we just go back in the past. I just wanna show y'all. So you don't have to do all of this when you're doing the strategy. I'm just kind of doing the strategy and then also showing you guys, you know, if you're unclear, hold on, this is taking hours. So look at how the market reacts off of this green line that I want to now make my take profit, right? So it's, it's been to this area before. It's came to this area before, right? Came down, wicked it, but it's, it's came here before, right? So that just lets me know, okay, it's probably going to be a good take profit uh, area, okay? All right, so... That's just the first step of setting up the strategy. And I'll go over that one more time again. The only thing that we did is we started off on the hour chart, right? We started off on the hour chart. We identified where the market was. We put our resistance and resistance is the same thing for buy zone. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys these indicators. What time is it? I got about 20 more minutes. I really wanted to go in today. I wanted to go in today. I'm charged up. I took me a nap. I slept good this week. Man, talking about honoring honoring your boundaries and just taking time yourself. Like, it, it gets you back, like, full. I'm full throttle. All right, so that's sexy. Buys on sell zone. Okay, now, that's that's this is what we call chart set up uh, I'm breaking this, this strategy down baby all right let's make it big all right chart set up that's how we we set up the chart that's all we did is just set up the chart then we go down to the 15 minute chart and this is where we wait for the move Isis what move? What move are we waiting for, Isis? I'm glad you asked. We're waiting for it to break above or below and close. Confirmation number one. Confirmation number two. We want to see a retest whenever it happens. We just want to see it happen. It could be any color candle. Any color 
candle. We not trading colors, we trading the retest. So we need the retest. It don't matter if it's not red, we just need it to retest. We want to see a retest from um from the zone it broke out and i will we'll, we'll go over it don't worry i got y'all three trade only if the candle is going in the flow we want it to meaning so i'll show you okay so i maybe let's see if this you guys like screenshot that just in case you can't write it fast like screenshot that thing screenshot it all right good you got your picture we're gonna put it up here okay got the chart set up i don't want to confuse you let me delete that now Okay, let me make this small so you can read it. Maybe just tap it bigger, just in case you're on the cell phone. Boom shakalaka. All right. Okay. So right now, here's the market. It's in our trap. It's in trap between our buy zone and our sell zone. It's trapped. We waiting. We waiting like smart fishermen. Right, let me show you what we're waiting for. We're waiting for this thing to either break above, come back, retest, and then we wanna see that next candle since we, since, since we want that thing to go, uh, since we want that thing to go up and we know that the green candles are representing up, break, retest. If I see a green candle above this, the entry line be green, I'm gonna get in. It goes my take profit one, two, and three. If it decides to break below, close, come back up and retest the area it broke and closed from. Next candle need to be red. I'm taking it down. Isis, how does it look though? Let me show you guys what it looks like. Let's see a break in the retest. Hold on. Let's see a break in the retest right there. Make this black, make this black. Trust me, you guys, like if you just stay consistent, I, every as confused as you may be right now, baby, that was me. I was confused too. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was confused. But you know what? I kept going, kept going over and over. Blew my account, blew it there, blew it there, lost money. I didn't lose it, but you know, like it just takes time, you guys. Like just grant yourself this time. So look at this. If this was an example, right? This is just so sexy. A matter of fact, let me just put it here. Let's make it even more sexier, right? So let's just act like this is our sale zone, this is our buy zone. Bam! <laughs> it broke through. <laughs> it's inside the trap. We're waiting for it to break above, retest and trade, or we're waiting for it to break below, retest and trade. But what did it do? It broke above. And it closed. It took 15 minutes for this candle to close. Confirmation number one checked off the list. Then the next candle, now sometimes the retest candle may come in the second or the third candle. It's not always that the next candle was the retest, but how sexy that it was. Bam, you see this design? Bam, 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 look. Bam, bam, we would have entered right here on that green candle. Oh, we would have rolled it up. It would up about 25 pips, right? Went about 25 pips. So if you ain't secure no profit, it would have came right on down and eventually hit your stop loss. 
right? So that's what it looks like. We're waiting for it to break above or below. It broke above and closed. That means in 15 minutes, this whole candle closed above it. It didn't wick it. This is a wick. Right here? Yeah, it touched the black line. Look at it. It touched it, but it didn't close. What I mean by close is we want that whole big old sexy body to be right on top of this black line. Right? Bam, it came down ever so beautifully in retest. Bam, I would have entered the market right there and rolled it to the next level. Woo! <laughs> Look at this, another example of a break and retest. Now this level, which was recently to take profit is now, what is this, now, now what is this to these candles? Is this, what is, what is this line now? It used to be a take profit here, bam, it hit it. But now what does this line represent now? Somebody put it in the chat bar. Let's see. Ooh, come on, Jen, let's go, let's go. What else, what else, who else? Let's go, the ceiling, same thing, let's go. Somebody give me another word. Somebody give me another word that means the same thing that these people just put in the chat bar. Give me that third word that means the same word. Resistance, ceiling, all the same thing. The roof, yes, oh God, let's go. Yes, the roof, the roof. Somebody give me another word that means the same thing. Yes, bazo, here we go. You guys are crushing it, amazing. So check this out. Same thing, family. Like I almost started to cry to see y'all getting this in the box because you guys are going to be amazing. So look at this. Resistance, sale zone. Same thing, y'all. Look, what did it do? Bam, it broke through right there. Confirmation number one. Now we can make money again, right? Bam, it broke through. Bam, here's the retest right here. This little sexy candle right here. Look at how sexy it is. It retests for me. Bam, I would have entered on this red candle. OMG, OMG, is she making this up? Woo, could have rolled it all the way down to the next area. Y'all, it just keeps doing this. Now here we are, trapped between this area. This is where we are currently, right? See, it just does the same thing on this side, on that side, back on this side again. Look at it. Look at this. <laughs> Did it over here, came back down. Did it over here, came back down. Now we're waiting for it to either do it back over here or do it down here. It just does the same thing over and over, right? Now let's talk about the indicators. Cause y'all got me fired up. Dang, I'm crumped up today, you guys. Man, if y'all getting some value from this call, cause I wanna make sure I'm talking to myself, drop some 11s in the chat bar if it's like, if a, if a aha bubble just went through your head, like aha. <laughs> like that was at least my main goal to just have like, okay, cool, all right. All right, all right, cool. Cause like, I wanna at least know that I'm helping some people. I know it may still seem a little, you know, a little like, woo, okay. Cool beans. Now, I want to show you guys these indicators, but I don't want you to get confused. And I know I say it in the same breath. <laughs> and the reason why I don't want you guys to get confused is we first and foremost follow these rules. Break, retest, trade. That is our rules. No matter what these indicators say, we first follow that. The indicators is what's going to also give you a a confirmation. So we already knew that we had the break in the retest. But if I had these indicators on, right? I don't care if the indicator says, so look, hold on, because I don't want y'all to get confused. This is why I wanted to slowly show you these indicators. So you see how the blue, when the blue cross on top of the red, we know we buying. But we still in the trap. So I don't want you to be like, ooh, 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 it's crossing. I'm about to buy now. Isis said if it crosses, we buying. Okay, no, baby, no. That's just, that's just a confirmation. We want it to break, retest, and then trade right here. 
But when I have these EMAs on, the EMAs is telling me it's setting up for a buy. So I'm like, okay, it's setting up for a buy, right? They told me it. And then obviously a couple of candles down, I see it. Now look at when you put the super trend on there, bam, the super trend is also telling me right around this area that it's a buy. The same way it crossed is the same area it's saying it's a buy. And as you can see, I know, and then look, so I'm already entering here. Look at how this and this is it's open. The blue is still on top of the red. So I'm, that gives me another confirmation, like not only did it break and it retest, and I know I'm entering here, but this is still open. The blue is still on top of the red. So this is giving me a great confirmation. Now look at how it starts to change. We're inside the trap though. We're not trading inside the trap. But look at how now the red is on top of the blue. So now in our mind, we like, you know what? This is probably setting up for a sale, right? The red is on top of the blue. Look at the super trend. Ooh, super trend also saying a sale. But we not entering yet though. We not entering. That's just a confirmation. We, we're still not entering because what are we waiting for? Somebody drop in the chat bar. What are we waiting for before we even get in this trade, period? Somebody drop it in the chat bar. What are we waiting for? Crumped up off water. Yes, the break in the retest. Yes. That's what we're waiting for, first and foremost. This is just this is just giving me pre, it's giving me pre-recognition that it's probably gonna break the sale zone. But I'm not trading inside the trap. We inside the trap. Resistance, support. We inside the trap. I'm not trading in the trap. However, this is just giving me an indication. Oh, okay, it's setting up. So then when I got my break and I see that the red still in the blue, I'm feeling even more confident. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Bam, when I got that retest and then I see that the red is still on top of the blue, and I'm getting the, the notification that I need to enter here anyway, baby, that gives me even more confidence. And then look, look at how the red stayed on top of the blue. Woo, you could have just rolled it down. You get what I'm saying? So let's look at another example. Oh snap, I got about 10 minutes. I got about five minutes and I'm gonna take questions. Let's just look at another one. Oh. Oh. Wait. I might need a little nap. Hold on. Let's look at another one. See, this still hasn't even activated our our limit order yet. Hold on. We're going to take we're going to get the questions going. Each one teach one. Let's look at Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum. Okay? Go to the. I wish I can remote, remote so I can have y'all mark up the charts. So boom, we gonna mark this out real quick. Go to the hour chart. Identify the market is right here, right here. This is the market here. Which candles are higher than here? These are. Put it right on top of that wick. Bam. There's my resistance. There's my roof. There's my buy zone. All the same word. Bam. Then I look to see which candles are lower than this candle. Oh, oh yeah, sexy. Mm. Hmm. Now, some people are like, well, why don't you put it right there? You can put it there too. You could have yours like that. You could even have it like this. There's no right or wrong, still support and resistance. However, I know that I can get in here 
we look on the four hour real quick. So no right or wrong, they're both support and resistance areas. Sometimes I go to the four hour chart just to see, get a better, get a bird, better bird's eye view. So yeah, I'm straight with it being right there. It's trapped. This candle is higher than this candle. We're waiting for it to I'm go on a 15 minute chart. Break, retest, trade. Break, retest, trade. Take profit one. Isis, how do you know? Look at the zone. It's a zone. Take profit number two. Take profit three. Sexy. Hold on, I would take a question. Mm. Yeah, kind of watch out because the all time high was a wick. So you got to watch out on those buys, but the, but the market's going to want to come back up and test these areas though. And they said, we don't know how to trade. <laughs> Silly rabbit. <laughs> so, um, so basically, um, we're waiting, right? We're waiting for it to break above or break below. When we look at our indicators, seems like it's in a buy momentum. Blue is on top of the uh, red. Cool. Showing me it may go in the buyers. May or may not. Super trend. Saying a buy right about here. So we may get a push to the upside, but we wait. We wait. We wait. All right, fam. Um, I went in for about an hour and five minutes. I want to just take this time to answer any questions, comments, or concerns. This is why I love making money in the day and then building the business by night. It just makes sense. Anybody got any questions? Hi, Isis. Uh, this is the other gen. Um, <laughs> where, uh, where's the good replay for this going to be? Oh, I don't know if it's recording. Let me see. If okay, how about the replay from the last one you did? <laughs> um, it could be on a G12 website. I'm not sure. I don't really have time to upload all the videos. Um, and as we switch to our new schedule and get more on a G12 schedule, you guys, because we're kind of shifting from the whole Unity thing, um, we may leverage some of their calls. But um, once we get back on to doing some of our calls, that's when I'll get the uh, assistant to upload the videos to YouTube. But right now, it's just me. and. Oof, that's a little difficult. So I hey trust there, I, Hey there, Isis. I don't know if you saw my question in the chat box there. Can you just go over one more time, like why the retest handle can be any color? Oh my gosh, I'm up $238. Yes, hold on one second. Hold on one second, y'all. Somebody's at my house to pick something up. <laughs> Um, all right, so because we just wanted, the well, retest just means to pull back down to that area. So it doesn't matter what color it is as long as it's retesting because like, for example, the retest was here, but also this green candle used to be red. It's a retest too. And the reason why we know it used to be red is because we got these wicks. So it started off here as a body and shot down to right here. And then the buyer stepped back in 
And then, so this once was even, this once was, was red. So we just needed to, and the retest can also be like a wick too. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter about the color because this retest, that retest, that candle retest, and that candle retest, all of these candles kind of retest. But, you know, I would have entered here because I would have seen that retest. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter about the color. You just wanted to retest. I used to think that it had to do with the color, but then I learned it just, you just needed to just retest, period. This so a so retest cool. is just crossing the line that you set, whether it's support or resistance. Yeah, so a retest is all of a sudden it starts going up, then all of a sudden it pulls back. So a retest is the same thing as a pull. So it goes one direction and it pulls back to the previous position it broke out of. So it broke from this black line, and now it's coming back down and retesting. If you play with this head, something is going to break. So the same thing right here. It, 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 it retested this line. Hold on. Out in the back. So yeah, so right here, it broke and it retest. Right, this candle started off red. It started off red, it shot down, got the retest. Bam, with an entry there. Does that make sense? So we yeah, I think so. There was some background noise there. Someone else had their microphone on, so it was a little hard to hear you, but I think I got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the, the main thing is it doesn't matter the color as long as it re, uh, retests the same area it broke out of. So if it broke our buy zone, when whatever color, can, color, uh, color candle comes down, bam, it retests that same area it broke, it broke out of. Broke came back up, retest, or the enter there. Break, this used to be green, shot up, shot back down, but either or, it retested here, it retested here. These two candles touched this line that it broke out before from. And then that would, so that would be, a, you get into the trade there and then that would be a sell. So whatever whatever zone it breaks, that's the that's when you'll take a buyer or sell. So if I only needed five pips, five pips would have been right there, somewhere around here. I would have already made my money. I could have trailed it down to make a little bit more money. Amazing, great question. Anybody else got any other questions? Ooh. Um, uh, Isis, um, so got, where did you click to get the trends that assess the, the trends colors and everything? Where did you, where were you clicking when you were putting that? The indicators like uh, this right here? Yeah, those, okay, thank you. Yeah, so um, let me give you guys the coordinates just in case you don't know. So you're gonna go up here where it says F and it has an X, it says indicators and strategies. And you guys are going to do two EMAs. So you do E-M-A. And you click it twice. So you just click it twice, then it's going to pop up. There's one there, there's one there. Then the last indicator is a super trend. Everybody's super trend looks different, though. I don't know if it's because some people don't have the paid version or what. Yeah, see, I don't like that. I say try the first one on there. I think because I had to pay one to look different. But when you when you when you have it here, if you go to the little circle, which is the uh, settings, where it says length, it's going to be eight. Style is going to be blue. Write this down so you can remember it. If you gotta make flashcards, make flashcards. The next EMA, you're gonna go right back to the little settings tool, the little thing where it says settings. The input, where the input is, where it says link, you're gonna do 14. The only thing you're gonna change is, uh, is that. 
Okay. All right, the color is gonna be red. And then you just hit okay. For the super trend, your super trend may be different than mine. I, I don't know. But um, the input is gonna be one and one. So on both boxes and the ATR period is gonna be one. And then the ATR multiplier is gonna be one. That's the only two things you're changing. You're not changing anything else on the input. The style, you don't have to do anything. Only the input, one and one, and then hit okay. Okay. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's pretty much it for today. Um, I may do another sporadic call this week, but I'm not, I'm not gonna claim to say that I am, but I could. Um, but yeah, no, actually, you know what? My birthday is coming up. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cashing out on Friday, y'all. <laughs> So uh, definitely if you're here too, if you're in Mexico, tomorrow we have our meetup, our new time is at 5.30. So definitely make sure you guys are there. We're gonna cover some more of this tomorrow. We're gonna cover some of the product. Um, but other than that, you guys, thank you for showing up for yourself. Um, I trust that you understand some of the stuff, if not all of the stuff. And I'll catch you guys at the beaches and the banks, baby. Peace.